Hey there, welcome to the latest PB time. And I, I want to talk today a little bit about, you know, how fear robs us and what exactly it does when it when it robs us. And it comes to a very popular verse in 2 Timothy 1 7. And honestly, it's a verse that if you are a follower of Jesus, you spend any time in the word of God, you, you probably know this verse, even if you don't know where it's found. And uh, it, it really helps us to, to recognize um, some, some issues. And it's a real popular verse. I'll probably read it a couple of times. So let me, let me start with that. So 2 Peter 1, 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. Again, people can quote that. God is not giving us a spirit of fear. He has given us power, love, and a sound mind. Yet we live in a culture that is facing fear and anxiety every day. And I would love to tell you that I never deal with fear or anxiety. But if anybody is close to me, you know that's a lie. These are tensions and struggles we face in the world we live in. And we could do a much longer video on just why that is. I think, first of all, just for me, to, it's, it's helped over recent years to really even break down that really fear is my mental response to things in the moment. Like in the moment, fear grips me. My expectations aren't being met. I am concerned about a situation. Fear grips me. And it's like, or in a perceived situation. Anxiety is kind of a down payment on fear. It's me anticipating the future is not what I want it to be. And so therefore, anxiety begins to grip me and make me feel like there is no hope for the future. So it's, again, robbing my present, robbing my future. And so here we are as, as you know, humans facing fear and anxiety every day, but there's this verse so easy to quote, hey, God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And I, I've really, really struggled with that because I'm saying, okay, well, if fear doesn't come from God. W what are this power, love, and sound mind? Why am I not experiencing more of that, or why don't I recognize those things when fear and anxiety creeps in? So I started really unpacking why is power, love, and a sound mind so important? Because when a spirit of fear and anxiety begins to grip us as individuals, here's what happens to me, so you tell me if it's true. One, I begin to feel weak. When fear and anxiety grip me, I feel weak. When I experience fear and anxiety, I can get angry, angry, just unmet expectations, frustration, anger. So now I'm weak and I'm angry. And oftentimes when fear and anxiety seem to be dominating my life, I feel crazy. I mean, I literally, you know, kind of have this bipolar bounce and forth back in my mind, ping pong, you know, just kind of bouncing from one side of the table to the other. And it just feels like I can't get my thoughts straight. So, so let's work with that for a second. Power, love, sound, mind. God is not giving us a spirit of fear. He's given us power. Why power? Because the power he gives us is meant to overcome our weakness. He knew that fear and anxiety would make us weak. So he wants to give us power. Power, love, love. Why would God give us love to combat fear and anxiety? Because not only did he know that we would need uh, power because we feel weak, he knew we would need love because we feel angry. And why is it power, love, and a sound mind? Power, love, and a sound mind. Because God knew that when fear and anxiety comes our way, that um, we would need power because we feel weak. We would need love because we feel angry and he would give us a sound mind because he knew it would make us crazy. See how, I mean, just those three things, really, really simple. Now, it doesn't take away the fact that these things come to us or how do we combat them? 
God is giving us a spirit. Uh, he is not giving us a spirit of fear, but instead of power, love, and a sound mind. When we feel weak, the weights of life feel heavy, right? When I'm weak, everything is heavy. Every burden, every every situation. And we, we have to recognize, God says, hey, I want to make your burdens light. So when things are feeling heavy, let the joy of the Lord be your strength. There's a passage of scripture that talks about how God wants us to have righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So, so again, you may feel weak angry and crazy and you don't have enough power, love, or a sound mind, then how do you combat that? Well, we have to turn fear into faith. How? Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So God has not given us a spirit of fear, but instead he's given us the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is driving righteousness, peace, and joy to us. Why? Because weakness is replaced with righteousness and righteousness is, is not is demanding that we understand we are not on our own strength and we are not responsible for the things that are in front of us that are weighing us down that that, that through the righteousness of Christ we can overcome that weak feeling and experience power because it's not our power it's his power love finds joy, love and joy uh, in, the, in righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Well, how do we combat anger when fear and anxiety is, is, is bringing us down? Love covers a multitude of sins. And we know that love is the key to overcoming anger. And, and then peace, peace. Well, it's, it's the peace of right relationship integrated in our thoughts and our lives is what overcomes us feeling crazy. Because when you're feeling crazy, things are not peaceful in your mind. And so we overcome the spirit of fear, the spirit that brings weakness, anger, and craziness. It's replaced by power, love, and a sound mind. And the reason we can, we can, we can, step up into power, love, and a sign mind because the spirit of fear is replaced by the spirit of faith. And the Holy Spirit brings us righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. And that is how we overcome the impact of faith or of, of fear and anxiety. And so what I find is that we have to desire that the Holy Spirit bring us power. We have to, we have to desire that the Holy Spirit brings us love. And we have to respond that the Holy Spirit brings us a sound mind because the spirit of fear is trying to rob those things from us. And so staying away from passive prayers and moving into purposeful prayer is how we invite the Holy Spirit to bring that power into our life. Now, there have been moments in my life when I've just felt so overwhelmed with fear and anxiety that I kind of have accepted my emotional health, the gripping fear that was coming into my life. Can I be honest with you? Because there were moments that I thought I deserved it. And so you cannot operate that way. You have to operate in a way that you can separate truth from lies. And if you can separate truth from lies, you can walk in 2 Timothy 1, 7, and you can face your fears and anxieties. You can face the things it's trying to rob from you. And you can replace weakness for power, anger for love, and craziness for a sound mind. I hope that uh, is encouraging to you today. I hope that is something that will speak into your spirit. If you have any comments or thoughts, put it down in the chat below. And if there, if you'd like to have uh, more PB times or topics that are on your heart, just reach out to me and I'd be happy to put some videos together. Thanks and have a great day.